understand that people in this world don't give a fuck about you, bro. Especially not these women. These women don't give a fuck about you. These hoes don't give a fuck about you, bro. What's good, y'all, man? It's Cam, bro, and I'm bringing y'all another video, man. Straight like that, hitting y'all with these daily uploads. You feel me? We not skipping a beat. We not skipping a beat. Um, first of all, number one, I want y'all to go ahead and go follow me on IG, you feel me? Um, that way, when you follow me, you can DM me, you feel me? You could tell, yeah, you could DM me, bro. You can give me video suggestions. You could, uh, uh, tell me about any problems y'all got with females, whatever, right? And then number two, bro, make sure that you like the video and comment down below what y'all want to see next. But anyway, bro, let's get into the video, dog. How to become cold-hearted. Understand that men live on recruit difficulty in life, right? I mean, my bad, veteran difficulty in life. That women live on recruit difficulty, right? As soon as a man comes into the world, bro, you are expected to bear the weight of the world on your shoulders, bro, right? You are expected to thrive while being alone, bro. When you become a man, bro, you expected to be the lone wolf and get it all on your own, bro. You expected to be unemotional. You expected to provide for your family, provide for yourself. You are expected to hold everybody else down, right? That is your job as a man in this world. And it's crazy because men in this world don't get help bro they don't get help it's plenty of men going through mental health problems right like depression anxiety but as soon as a man speaks up on that right as soon as a man speaks up on that nobody wants to say anything everyone wants to say oh you weak are you this are you that that right there just proves that men is living on veteran difficulty because ain't nobody here for you bro ain't nobody here for us but us right we the only ones here for ourselves, dog. So as a man, it is extremely important that you become cold-hearted, bro. Because see, a woman, she will never understand. A woman will never understand what I'm sitting up here talking about. A woman will watch my videos and say, oh, you bitter. Oh, you mad. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. But in reality, they just don't know what it's like. They wouldn't be able to last in a man's shoes, I promise you. Because guess what? A woman gets constant attention, bro. From the moment she's born until the moment she's died, uh, until the moment she dies, right? She's constantly has someone else for her, right? Emotionally, physically, whatever, right? She's always got someone else for her, someone holding her hand and walking her through life. It's constantly somebody helping her out. But men don't have that option. We don't have that luxury of being able to rely on somebody. We don't. Therefore, it is important that we become cold-hearted. Now, being cold-hearted, I promise you, will help you in so many situations, dog. Not even just with females, dog. Look, in the business world, bruh, when you're when you dealing with business, dog, it's cutthroat, dog. You can't be having feelings involved. When you go into a job interview, bruh, being cold-hearted is going to... You, you're going to give off an aura, bro. You're going to give off an aura and energy that's like, oh, yeah, this dude is cold. Yeah, we want him on our team because we already know he's going to get the job done. You feel me? No feelings involved. You feel me? Being cold-hearted can help you with so many things in life quite honestly in life it's just gonna help you with so many things because it's gonna make you understand that you are alone in this world as a man bro and ain't nobody here to save you dog ain't nobody here to motherfucking help you nobody's here to help you dog you need to hear the honest truth that just it is what it is it is what it is and understand that with, even with females bro you gotta be cold-hearted with these females because, see, y'all got it twisted, bro. Y'all got it backwards. It's constantly, you know what I mean? It's always dudes asking, oh, what, what does she think? Or, oh, I don't want her to get mad. Or, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Y'all so reactive to what a woman does. It's time to get proactive. In 2021, bro, let's get proactive, dog. Let's start, let's start having relationships where we run it, right? Let's start, when you get into the talking stage, you control whether you get in a relationship or not. You feel me? You make the woman submit. That's how a relationship is supposed to be. She must submit to you, right? But in order to carry out stuff like that, in order to cut off a female if she's tripping, in order to check a woman, in order to do what I'm talking about, you must be cold-hearted. You have to be unemotional. You have to be able to execute uh, uh, red pill strategies. You have to be able to execute what I'm telling you, bruh. Because you can sit up here and listen to me all damn day. But at the end of the day, if you don't have that killer instinct, that cold heart in you, bro, then you just not going to be able to do it, bro. You, ain't, you just ain't going to be able to do it. Then maybe you just meant to be a nice guy all your life. 
unfortunately. Now, let me give you, let me, let me, let me tell y'all something, bro. I used to have an old TikTok account, right? And it was spiritual, right? It was based on spirituality. And I said a lot of things that a lot of people didn't like, but I truly believe those things. And let me tell you something, bro. I had homies hit me up talking about, oh, I can't fuck with you for this. I can't fuck with you for this. You know what I said? I told them niggas to fuck off. I said, all right, go do you. If you don't like it, then just don't watch it. I don't care. Because I'm cold like that, bro. I'm cold. And you got to get that same way. Understand, bro. On that same account, I got canceled many times for saying stuff. I got canceled many times. I got death threats in my DMs before. I done had niggas try to, bro. I done had niggas try and slander me, dog. Try and end me. And I didn't give a fuck. I stood in the face of adversity. And that's what being cold-hearted is all about. Standing up the face in the face of adversity and sticking to your own code. Stick to the code, bruh. You stick to your own morals, bruh. You don't waver for anybody or anything. No matter what anybody else thinks. Stop thinking. Stop caring about what anybody else thinks, bro. Because that's the number one thing that's actually going to help you with females. Help, it's going to help you with women. And in life in general. As soon as you stop caring what other people think about you, bruh. That's when the world opens up. That's the reason a lot of you niggas that want to start YouTube channels and want to start doing, uh, um, you know what I mean? Do, chasing your dreams, doing X, Y, and Z. Don't do it. I know why you not doing. You don't do it because you scared of what people's gonna think. You scared to post that you got a YouTube on your Instagram because you scared of how people gonna judge you, right? You scared to 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 make beats and post them because you scared about how people gonna judge you, bro. Whatever the case may be, you have to stop caring what other people think, and that's what's gonna make you cold hearted, bro. Now, how do you become cold hearted? Okay, through two things. By number one, being emotionally unavailable and applying, you know, alpha male tactics such as maintaining masculine frame and all this. And eventually you get to the point where you're cold hearted. But the most important part to becoming cold hearted is experience. It is experience, right? Every man in order to become cold must go through an experience that makes them cold, bro. I've had plenty of those experiences, bro. I'm not going to give out a story time right now, maybe in the future. But back in my beta days, let me tell y'all something, bro. It was a girl that I was really fucking with, right? And I was supposed to go to uh, go to homecoming with her. And, you know, the day of homecoming comes, and she's not rocking with me no more. We get in a big-ass fight. She says, you know what I mean? I'm not interested in you no more. I'm tired of you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, then. Fine. I, mean, I was down bad. I still had to go because I had obligations to take people feel me i was giving people rides or whatever and it was on a party bus or whatever we hopped on the party bus right i see her with another dude i see her with another dude the whole night i was i just had to watch her with another dude i just had I, we was just talking right we were just talking a, a week or two ago or, or a day ago and i see her right there with another guy They're kissing on each other cuddling up with each other and shit and I had to watch that with my own two eyes because that's what my friend, my friend group, right? They hung around them. I had to hang around that shit all night. Think how that made me feel, bro. That shit made me cold. I wasn't necessarily the man I am today, the cold ass nigga I am today, but that was the beginning. Situations like that make you cold, bro, because you start to see, you start to understand that people in this world don't give a fuck about you, bro, especially not these women. These women don't give a fuck about you. These hoes don't give a fuck about you, bruh. They'll do the shit like that. They'll tell you to fuck off and then go get with another nigga right in your motherfucking face, nigga. I promise you. And that's why a lot of you niggas is... Y'all, that's why a lot of y'all can't be red pill. Can't be alpha. Because I get... Look, it's so many dudes that claim to be that. But then they'll be like, oh, my girlfriend doing X, Y, and Z. Bro, if your girlfriend keep playing, bro, chances are, dog, you might just be getting cheated on. Maybe she just getting piped out by another nigga. And that's just, it is what it is. But understand that when you cold, bro, there's no way to avoid situations like that. But all you can do is just not let it get to you. Is just not let it get to you and then put yourself in a better position next time so that way you're not dealing with somebody that's going to wrong you like that. But when you get cold, bro, I promise you the benefits... The benefits is worth it, dog. You know why? 
Because when you get cold, nothing matters to you no more, except for what you want to do in life. Understand that you can only control one life, dog. You can only control your own life. You can only live from the point of view of your own life, bro. It's your own set of eyes, your own damn soul, bro. For real. So stop worrying about what other people think, because guess what? They are no different than you, my nigga. Stop thinking about what a woman thinks about you. Because she's no different than you, my nigga. She's just another fucking human being. She's just another human being, dog. So if you want to go talk to that one girl, go talk to her. Right? If you want to get in a relationship, then go get in a relationship. But don't be no motherfucking fool. Don't be no sucker, bro. And remain cold-hearted. That's the one, that's the number one thing, bro. A lot of a lot of times what happens is women make men soft, bro. They get in relationships and shit, and they start getting soft. They start losing that cold heartedness. Nah, you got to keep that, bro, because I promise you, just like that experience I went through, that same shit can happen to you, my nigga. Anybody could get it at any point, at any day. I promise you. That's why you must remain cold hearted, bro. It is what it is, dog. But anyway, bro, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm out of here, bro. Peace, love you.